Well, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to this edition of Seeing Beyond and Through with Monty. Well, over the weekend, actually it was April the 23rd, superstar gymnast Simone Biles tied the knot. She tied the knot with her longtime boyfriend slash fiance, now husband, Jonathan Owens, in a Texas ceremony. And the couples were glowing on that day, as any couple should on their wedding day. However, in this day and age, not everyone is going to be happy for you. Now, Simone Biles ran into some trouble about her hair. That was one thing, which I'm not going to focus on in this particular video right here. I'm going to focus on another matter that many people tended to have overlooked or were not aware of. And this particular issue has to do with people being angry, perhaps jealous, this grunt allude in some type of a, of a way. Now here we have, um, there's bigger problems in the world. We don't need their life on social on, on, on socials. So you could have just ignored this. Whoever wrote this, you could have really truly ignored this. And I think that with the way that things are going in the world, the state of the world, there's so many bad news. I welcome news like someone tying the knot or getting married. Let's continue on because it gets worse. You have people who are trying to be sarcastic or trying to be funny by saying, who? And congrats, do they want a cookie? Who? I guess you guys are not aware of this, huh? As you can clearly see, there are some people who just was not happy for them. And we can go on right here. Uh, ain't no one gave. Um, who gives a, and it goes right there again, who? And there was quite a lot. It was quite a few people who were making these comments. Wait, what, who? Who are they? As if they do not know who Simone Biles is, the preeminent gymnast in the world. We knew about her struggles with the, uh, what is that, uh, mental illness thing that she had uh, about with the past Olympics where she couldn't uh, perform. But we also know Simone Biles, two of uh, Oliver Trumpets, triumphs rather, uh, winning 25 world championship medals, the most decorated gymnast of all time. And we know that she's a worldwide icon and we know that people know exactly who she is. And we have one person who's questioning her sexuality, which is ridiculous. And we have people right here, once again, who are these people? You know, trying to make light or you can say trying to dismiss them in a way. And we know that people who are not even as famous as Simone Biles in American history have always announced their weddings. This is a standard American tradition. You don't have to necessarily be famous to do that. So here we go right here with some more. Um, I have no idea who these people are. That's BS who... We could just clearly see that a lot of people are very jealous and a lot of people are very unhappy and a lot of people are not feeling this. But I do believe that there is a reason why. Because we know that everyone within the black community knows exactly who Simone Biles is. And they would know who her husband is. Even though he's not as famous as she was, I didn't know of him before he married her. He's uh, an elite athlete in his own right. Yes, he's a football player. Uh, he's a free agent at the moment, but he has had stints on the Carolina Cardinals, Houston Texans, Jacksonville Jaguars, um, Tennessee Titans. And at one point, the Texan team signed him to a $1.75 million contract for two years. So he's not exactly coming in the wedding or coming to Simone Biles as a broke man. Granted, he does not have as much as she has, but still he's able to hold his own with that type of money. So let's go on with this right here because I'm going to bring you guys to something that I think is going on here. And yes, it has to do with race. As I told you, every single black person in America is aware of Simone Biles 
We know that she's a gymnast. We know that she's the greatest of all times. We know that the problems that she had within her past Olympics. But let me just tell you what I believe the underlying issue with these comments are. And that is that Simone Biles did not marry a white man. So when you're an elite athlete or entertainer, someone of that magnitude, you're supposed to be espoused, dating, enthralled to someone white. And I believe that so many people, white Americans, they may not like the idea of interracial unions. A lot of them do not like interracial marriages. The vast majority of them do not want to participate in that. However, I will say this. They do like for black Americans of elite caliber to be espoused, to be dating, to desiring, to wanting white people. That's what they like. They do not like the idea of black love. They do not like the idea of elite black people marrying, being intertwined with other blacks. That bothers them. So they expected someone of a Simone Biles caliber and Jonathan Owens, a very good looking couple. They expected both of them probably to be married to white people. And when black people do prefer white people, what it does is that it kind of affirms what they believe and what they see and what they have been brainwashed by mass media manipulation is that because they are white, they are superior because you are non-white. And in this case, black, you are inferior and the inferior races, even though I don't want you, the vast majority of them do not want you. They don't want to marry you. They don't want to procreate with you. They do not want to reproduce with you. But even though you are inferior, you are supposed to desire me. You are supposed to want me. You are supposed to want to marry me. And when a black person of significance does not go that route or does not express that in any way, shape or form, it bothers a lot of people. That's the reason why those comments there that you've seen that Simone Biles had gotten, they were coming from white people. They were coming from white accounts. They were not coming from anyone black. Black people probably wouldn't do this. I, you know, there was an issue with black women um, saying things about her hair being sweated out. But to be completely dismissive, like, I don't really care. Who cares? Who are these people? Uh, the world has other things to talk about. No, these are white accounts right there. And I do believe that black women talking about her hair is coming from a different angle than what a white person trying to dismiss them. Two different reasons. I believe that a lot of black women... Those, not the majority, only those black women who talked about her hair was jealous of her. She's espoused, she's married, they're not. She has someone, they do not. The white people who are coming for her, they are angry or a little disgruntled because she is not married to or hooked up with a white man. So you can clearly see the angles are completely different there. So this goes to show you that a lot of times you do not have to be a racist racist. And what I mean by that, you don't have to hang someone from a tree, burn a cross in someone's lawn. You don't have to physically harm people. You can do this microaggression form of racism that's online where what you're trying to do, you're not using the N word. You're trying to dismiss someone because their union bothers you. You're upset, unhappy that an elite black female athlete did not marry a white man. That's all what that is about. And with that, ladies and gentlemen, that was another edition of Sam Beyond and Through with Monty. And I will see you all beyond and through.